Good morning, folks. How are you? It's your humble narrator, Jay Joyner, here this morning with a cup, cup full of coffee. Nice pipe full of green. And a head full of nonsense. So let's get right to it. Well, you see, as you all know, I have two wives. And, well, with the way that I argue about Shani, I might as well, she might as well be my third wife. Um, and honestly, I think we need to get back to those kind of tabletop games where it's face-to-face -face with people, where you're actually interacting with real people. It's not this type of interaction, you know, or having the phone in your face or playing a video game, you know, real, just sitting down with a bunch of friends, just having fun. I want to get back into that. Sounds like something good. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting back into that. And, uh, sounds like it could be a good idea. Crack House Librarian is dropping bombs about the Holocaust. This librarian says, It would cost less to make fake concentration camps, just like they make movie sets look so real. Why do you believe the Holocaust really happened? They make so much money off the lie. Why do I believe the Holocaust really happened? Hmm, let me think here. Oh, yeah, because there's a ton of books about it happening. There's tons of pictures of the places. Um, there's even a museum dedicated to it. I mean, come on. Okay? There's books. Of, there's, there's records of the Holocaust happening. So you anti-Holocaust people, go line up with the anti-vaxxers and... and, and Go have fun. Ah. Crack House Librarian says, Oh, there are a ton of religious books you don't believe either. Why do you have a double standard when it comes to the Holocaust? Well. Hold on. And he says more. And I just explained how they got there. You can't just build it like a movie set. Why would they do that? To make money, it's obvious. Yes, because Hitler was in it for the money. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, stop smoking the crack, bro. Okay? <laughs> we wouldn't have sent troops into Germany... Britain wouldn't have sent troops into Germany if this wasn't really happening. Y'all, y'all, y'all millennials need to go back to school, start reading a book, and there's more. Then you have to call me an anti-vaxxer. I am not an anti-vaxxer, but you're trying to belittle me and trivialize my points. You're heavily propagandized. You're even deluding yourself no whatever okay the holocaust is real vaccinate your kids and wrap it before you have sex <clears throat> okay let me break this down to you if one person writes about it. Not everybody's going to believe it because there's nothing to back up what that one person wrote about. But if you have multiple books that say the same exact thing that are written by different people, how can it be a lie?
the same topic written by different people in different languages from different points of view, how can it not be true? Have you even, have you even, oh, please. Yes, there are hundreds of books written by different people who enjoy Star Wars. But they but they don't all say the same exact thing. Okay, so then how do you believe in something? Do you just have it pop into your head one day and go, I believe in it? This is what Krakow says. Reading and believing is how you get brainwashed, and it's obvious that you've gone way too far down the rabbit hole. Okay, how do you learn anything if you don't read it? You believe in something if you're convinced that whatever you believe in concord concordant with the conclusion that you come to about it. Okay, but then how do you learn about anything? Do you read? What do you, what do things popping up to do with making a belief? Is that what you do if somebody didn't tell you what to believe? Okay. The reason I believe in God is because I read this book. The reason I believe that chloroform is in plants is because I read it in a science book. Okay. The reason I know how to use a computer is because I read about it. Yeah, I've read the Quran. Do you know that the Quran, the God of the Quran, is the same God of the Holy Bible? And it's the same God of the Tanakh? It's the same God. So if three different books all talk about the same God, then I guess he must exist. Same God, different rules. Yeah, because somebody says, oh, believe in God by this and believe in God by that. And in all actuality, the Tanakh and the Holy Bible are the same. So they both believe in the same God. The only difference between the Quran, the Tanakh, and the whole and, and the New Testament of the Holy Bible is Jesus, who, if you actually read it, is God. So they're all talking about following the same God. Same God, different rules, and they both claim that they are true. Both have been stories written about them by other people verifying their accounts. You have no reason to be a Christian. Okay. My reasons for being a Christian are beyond your comprehension. Number one, crack house. And if you were an actual librarian, you wouldn't be talking this stupid shit because you'd actually be cracking open a book and reading it. The only reason you're a Christian instead of a Muslim, it's because it's socially accepted. Actually, no. The reason I am a Christian is because I believe in the teachings of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and because I believe in his deity, his death, and his resurrection, and the fact that he is going to come back. That is why you can call me a Christian, okay? But I still believe in the God of the Tanakh, the God of the Bible, and the God of the Quran, because it's all the same God. God is God is God. There's like no difference. But you believe everything you read. Now, I never said I believed everything I read. 
If I believed everything I read, I'd be like half of you freaking idiots on the internet believing every single damn thing that people post on the internet. So, Buddhists believe in the harmony of one person. You never made a distinction between things you read and believe and things you don't believe. How can you tell? Is it just based on whether or not it makes you feel good? Okay. You are absolutely making no sense. Like, really making no sense at all. To have a belief in something is to sit there and say, this is real, this is true, I believe it. It's not whether or not it makes you feel good. I mean, the fact that I believe that I'm breathing in oxygen doesn't make me feel good. It's just a, a fact based on fucking fact. How do you personally make a distinction between reading something and believing it or reading something and not believing it? Well, it's not that Howard crack house. I mean, I could sit there and read that Superman can fly. I know I can't fly. I'm not going to sit there and jump off the top of my house and believe that I can fly. You know, but when it comes to believing in God or whatever you want to believe in, that is a distinction made between you, yourself, and whatever it is you believe in. That's That doesn't have anything with reading anything about it in a book. I mean, blind people can't read and can be told about God. And whether or not they want to believe in what they've been told and what they he hear, you know, that's up to them. A deaf person. If you want to go off on the whole hearing thing, a deaf person can't hear it, but if they can see it, why don't you read? Okay, wait a minute. You can't verify anything about the Holocaust, but you just read and believe it. Why? Why don't you read and believe the anti-Holocaust narrative? majority of homeless people don't believe it but you're but you someone who is further away and not even in Europe believe that happened okay I'd like to know why you people are pushing this whole anti-holocaust thing okay because I find that to be hilarious um, let's see the reason I believe that the Holocaust happened was because I grew up it's autocorrected to homeless The vast majority of Polish people do not believe the Holocaust happened. So, because Polish people don't believe it, I guess it didn't happen. Let me think here. Um, we were told about the Holocaust in second grade. We were told about the Holocaust in third grade. We were told about the Holocaust in fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade. 10th grade, I went to the Holocaust Museum with the U.S. Navy military and saw the Holocaust Museum, went through it, read everything that they had on it, saw what they had about it, um, and went walking out there feeling like I didn't want to be a human being anymore because I couldn't believe that humans actually did this to other humans. And then... After doing more research about the Holocaust, the fucking Holocaust actually happened. And the fact that you people don't believe it, need to go back to school. Yeah, honestly, Crack House, you need to go smoke more crack. Were you there? Were you at the Holocaust?
what kind of person are you? No, like, like seriously, no, you're one of these fucking millennial twats who thinks that everything you've been taught is wrong and the world needs to go this way. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to tell you this right now. Stay in school. And fucking learn something. Because you kids with this stupid idea that the schools are lying to you need to go jump off a fucking cliff. And let the rest of us get educated. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Because you want to follow all these little internet memes. And follow all these little internet Instagram idiots. How about you go learn something? How about you actually go and crack open a written book? Not these little digital stupid shits. Go read a real book. Come at me with that crap. I'm too damn old. I went to school. I did my time. I learned what I learned. And I'm still learning today. Because you people don't want to believe that crap. Whatever. Have a good one. This has been Jay Joyner. Peace. Love. God bless. <laughs>